Hey everybody, welcome to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with your brand new PreSonus audio interface. You went out and bought Studio One or you bought the interface that bundled with Studio One software. I'm gonna show you today with the new Studio 24C, how to hook it up to Studio One, how to get yourself ready to record, and more importantly, we're gonna walk through the front panel and the control panel and show you the basics of how to get started. So if you just picked up this interface or any PreSonus interface, interface for that matter, and you want to get it hooked up and get rolling with Studio One, this is the video for you, so stick around. Okay, welcome back. So today we're gonna to take a look at the Studio 24C USB-C audio interface by PreSone. It's a great little interface here. I've been using this one for quite some time. This is a very popular interface. It's super affordable and it usually comes bundled with the Studio One software. So what I wanna do right now is I wanna walk you through this thing. You've unboxed it, you have it here and you wanna know how to get started. So first, let's take a look at the front panel here of the Studio 24C. Um, and we'll walk through and I'll tell you all the great features that are on it. So if you take a look at the front of our unit here, we have two mic um, line combo jacks here on the front. This can either take a quarter inch uh, jack or an XLR jack. If you wanna plug your guitar in, that would be more of an instrument level. Or if you wanna plug your microphone in, we have two of those on the front. Right next to that, we have our main little meter here to show us our input levels and our output levels output levels here, which is really cool. Then along to the right side, we have our two uh, gain pots here, or input gain trim for inputs one and two. One is on the top, two is on the bottom. Okay, so you all the way counterclockwise would be no signal coming in completely off, and then all the way up would be as loud as possible, right? So let's start with those at 12 noon. Then in the middle there, we have a 48 volt power switch. So if you're using like a condenser microphone or any microphone that requires 48 volts, the Studio uh, 24C has got you covered. Then underneath that, we have this mixer knob and some people are confused about what this really does. So if you take a look at it, it shows that we have um, our inputs. If we go all the way to the left, that's our input. That's our monitoring. So think of this as we turn it all the way to the left. We plug in our microphone, we put our headphones on, we're getting ready to record and we're talking into the microphone. You're gonna hear, if it's all the way to the input side, you're only gonna hear your level or your voice inside of your headphones. Conversely, if you turn it all the way to the right side where playback, if you've already recorded other tracks in Studio One, say drums, bass, a guitar, and now you wanna sing along with that track, if you turned it all the way to playback, you're gonna hear the pre-recorded stuff you've already done in Studio One. And what this knob does is this blends the levels of your incoming signal, in this example, your vocals, with the playback of stuff you've already recorded. So think of this as like a little mixer knob to balance the levels of your voice that you're gonna be recording to a track that you've already recorded. So that's what this is. So play around with that. All you have to do is usually starting at 12 noon is a pretty good balance. And then if you wanna hear more of the track and less of your voice coming in, you would turn it more towards the playback. Or if the playback is too loud and you wanna hear more of your own voice in your headphones, you would turn it more towards the input. So that's what that knob does. Then we also have um, our main output here at the top right hand side. This is when you have your studio speakers hooked up to it. You can control the level right there. And then we have our headphone um, level here as well as a separate pot that's on the front. If we flip it around the back, we have really simple controls. We have our USB-C um, bus powered here. So it doesn't require any other power supply. This is powered by USB-C. You plug that in here on the left. Then we have two MIDI in and out. If you want to work with the MIDI controller here, which is really cool. Then we have our main outs left and right. Those would typically go towards your studio monitors. Um, if you want to use those. Um, and then we have our headphones. So if you're only going to be using headphones, you don't need to use the main outs, but if you have speakers, you want to use the main outs, but we also have a headphone input as well. So, whether you're using the 24C or any other version of the PreSonus audio interfaces, the audio box, some of the other Revel uh, Revelator ones, any of the PreSonus quantum stuff, they're all gonna pretty much function exactly the same way. Some will just have a few more inputs and a few more outputs, but that is the walkthrough of the 24C. Now let's cut over here into Studio One and let me show you how to go ahead and make sure that Studio One recognizes the 24C, uh, give you a couple of pointers, and then ultimately we're gonna plug in a microphone and I'm gonna show you how you can get your setup for recording your very first track. 
Okay, so I've plugged in my Studio 24 CV, the USB-C cable right into my uh, computer here and it's just sitting here on the side. And when you do that, you will see a little blue light on the front will power it up, letting you know that everything is good to go. Now, let's go here into Studio One. So if you bought your 24C uh, with, uh, you probably got a version of Studio One. Usually it's a bundled uh, software. Make sure you go out to presonus.com and make sure you download Studio One and get that onto your computer. Now, after you do that and you've plugged in your 24C, See, there's two things I want you to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Studio One here. When you first open up Studio One, you're going to be greeted with this screen here. And where I want you to look is right here in the center here under setup. You're going to see that it automatically recognized my Studio 24C audio interface. If for some reason yours isn't recognized or doesn't pop up automatically, all you have to do is click right under here, uh, configure audio device. It is going to pop open a preferences window. Okay, and right down here where it says playback and recording device, you can use the drop down arrow and you will see all the audio interfaces that are available to you and you should see the 24C. Or if you're using another audio interface by PreSonus, the AudioBox Go or the AudioBox USB or the Quantums, you'll see the interface right there, okay? So you just click on that and then there you go. And now two things I want to uh, talk to you about here that people ask about all the time. And again, once you pick the 24C, it will typically default the device block size to 512 and the sample rate here is 44.1, okay? Now, what you can do here is you'll have a drop down arrow and you can pick different samples. And people say, well, what are the sample sizes and why should I use them? Without getting too technical on you, let's just say most modern computers today, uh, you should be fine. If you have a computer within the last three or four years or something even newer than that, wherever it defaults at, you can just leave. But um, typically you have these different sample sizes, uh, which will change the output the, uh, the input and the output latency of the unit. So for example, if I have it on 512, you'll see here the input latency is 14.9 milliseconds and the output is 14.7, okay? If I'm recording, uh, if I go to record my, uh, my, my track, let's say my first vocal track or my first guitar track, and at the 512 samples, when I talk into the microphone and I'm listening on my headphones, if it's not in real time and you hear a little bit of a delay or a little bit of an echo, that is called latency. From the time I speak into the microphone to the time I hear it through my headphones, if there's any kind of a delay, we call that latency. If you experience that, okay, the first thing you wanna do is come into the device block size and you wanna lower it by one, go to 256. You'll see now that the latency is changing from 14 milliseconds to nine milliseconds, okay? Speak into the microphone again or hit that guitar chord. Okay. If you hear it in real time and you don't hear that delay, that latency, you're good to go. If you're still hearing that latency, because maybe you have an older computer and your computer's taking some time to process the sound, go ahead and lower it again and keep lowering it until you don't have any latency. Again, somewhere between 128 and 512, you're going to be okay, but that's pretty much what you want to do. If you have to go all the way down to 32, go down all the way to 32. But like I said, if you have somewhat of a modern computer of any kind, Windows, Mac, doesn't matter, PC, Mac, you're gonna be fine. But that's what that does. All this does is change the latency. You wanna go as high up as possible without hearing any latency. So that's the thing you're gonna to wanna to be careful of, okay? But before we even, I wanna show you where that is. So when you set up our track for the first time, you know where to look for that. Okay, so I'm just gonna click. I'm gonna put this back at its default here. 512, I'm just gonna click OK. So now that we see our 24C here in Studio One, the next thing I want you to do, if you haven't done it already, is I want you to download the application from the PreSonus website. I'll link it in the description box below. It's called Universal Control. Universal Control is where is, a, is an application that whenever you have any kind of PreSonus hardware, any firmware updates that you're gonna need to do is done through Universal Control. So when you download the Universal Control app, you can open it up on your computer, and here it is. Let me show it to you. It's this little application. You can link will be in the description box below. This is where you can also change the sample rate. The sample rate for the 24C will go all the way up to 192. Most people do 41 or 48K. For now, if you're brand new to all of this, just leave it at its default. Don't go above 48, just higher resolutions, but the file size is larger. We're gonna keep it on 41. Um, but here's our 24C. When you open up Universal Control, it will recognize it automatically. If you come up to this little menu up here and you click this button, you wanna check for updates. 
and it will see, is your firmware updated? Mine is up to date. Here's a little pro tip for you. You may get this all hooked up and for a month it may be working fine. And then one day you go to use your computer and you go to use your 24C and for some reason, Studio One doesn't recognize it. Some reason it's acting kind of funny. Things aren't working the way they were the day before. The first thing I tell everybody to do, and this is very overlooked by most new people using this stuff, is go to Universal Control and check your firmware update. A lot of times all you have to do is update the firmware because maybe there's an update and then everything will work fine. Also, if you update your Studio One program to another version that comes out and all of a sudden your 24C is not working or any other PreSonus interface for that matter, check the firmware. Pro tip, huge important, will save you lots of frustration. Once you've done that, you can close this. You don't need to have this open, okay? So now Studio One sees our 24C. We've updated our firmware with universal control. We know we're ready to rock and roll. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it, create our first session here. I'm gonna show you how to plug a microphone into this thing so you can get yourself to start recording. Okay, so now I got a microphone plugged into channel one here on a PreSonus 24C. If you have a guitar and you wanna do this with your guitar, plug your guitar in, plug it into the with to this combo jack because it'll take a quarter inch as well. Make sure your gain pot here on channel one, start with it all the way down. Okay, that's what we wanna do. Start with it all the way down, put your guitar or a microphone aside here for a second. Let's create a session here in Studio One. So when you're on the home page here, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click the new button. And for now, we're just gonna create a blank session. So if you come over to templates, you can explore all the different templates that PreSonus has already laid out for you. But for this video, we're just gonna go on record and mix a new song in Studio One that'll give us kind of a blank template. Over here on the right-hand side, we can name it. So we're gonna call this uh, 24 Studio 24C Test. You spell that right. And then we're gonna put it right on my desktop for now. Again. Sample rate, 41 or 48. You can leave it for now at 41, really doesn't matter. Resolution, if it's defaulting to 16-bit, I would go 24-bit. We could talk about the different uh, the different resolution and sample rates uh, at a later time. But for now, do 44, 1, 24-bit or 48, 24-bit. 48, 24 is probably the most common as I sit here in 2025. Leave everything else the same here. We're gonna put it on our desktop and we're just gonna hit okay going to create a new session for us here it may take a second to think and here we are in a blank session in studio one now the first thing i want you to do is i want you to uh, open up your mixer by clicking this button here in the bottom right hand corner called mix that is going to bring up our console here and the first thing i want you to do is i want you to come over here to this little button here at the top called audio io setup another way to get to that is if we come up to the studio one menu on a mac or on a PC, it's gonna be over here. Studio One will be located towards the right. Um, we're gonna to go to Preferences. On a Windows, it's gonna be over here and it's gonna be called the Options menu. But if you're on a Mac, it's gonna be called Preferences. We're gonna go back to this window. Remember this a few minutes ago? Okay, we talked about the sample rate and the, and, the, and, the, uh, and the block size. Come down here to this button called Song Setup. And this is gonna bring up this window and we're gonna come over here to the top audio IO setup. And here is our audio IO and this is probably what you're gonna see. It's gonna have a pre, some pre-configured inputs and outputs. It's got a, a stereo input here for inputs one and two and then a mono one and a mono one. What I want you to do here is I want you to delete these. Click the first one, hold your shift key, click the last one and come on down here to this remove button. We're gonna start from scratch. Okay, now we're gonna add our audio input. So we're plugged into channel one here with our microphone. We're gonna create one mono input because a microphone or an electric guitar or an acoustic guitar is a mono source. So we're gonna click down here, add mono in the bottom left-hand corner. And here we go. And you can see input one, input two, that represents the two inputs on the front of the unit, okay? Or on the inputs tab here at the top. We can relabel this by just double clicking. We can call this vocals. If we wanted to always plug our vocal mic in or input one or guitar or whatever you want. Okay, it's a mono source right here. Also, if you're using studio monitors, go over to the output tab and make sure that you see the main outs on their main output left, one and two, left and right. It should be there. If it's not, you can add a stereo, so a stereo source and you can do that. Okay, once that's done, I want you to come down here and hit apply. You have to hit apply for these changes to take shape. 
and then hit OK. Now, if I click this little button here, see this little button here on the left hand side? Show inputs, I want you to click that. And we're gonna have, I'm gonna close these two items here, and we're gonna have this little input here, and you can see it's called vocals. That is the input that we just created in the previous screen. This is our input meter, so we can set up our recording levels for our voice here in Studio One. So if we talk into the microphone, you'll see that there's some level here, and you can see it's super low. It's like around a negative, what, 45 dB? What we wanna do when we're recording any source, at its loudest peak, at our loudest singing or our loudest strumming guitar playing, we want that input meter to come up here somewhere around a negative 12, negative 15 to get a nice, good, healthy recording level, but would not in any danger of clipping. So if I'm talking into the microphone and I'm turning our input gain, this is input gain pot number one, because we're plugged into channel one. Turn it up, turn it up, test one, two, test one, two, test one, two. You may have to turn it up quite a bit. Test one, two, test one, two, test one, two, test one, two. And there we are. Now we're around negative one dB, a little loud. We're gonna back it off a little bit, back it off a little bit, back it off a little bit. Check one, two, check one, two. Now we're around a negative 12.3 at our loudest peak here. And we have a nice healthy level, but we're not in any danger of clipping. You will also see the little meter on the front of the 24C light up green. It may even light up a little orange, which is okay, but we don't wanna ever get into the red. Digital clipping is bad. Once we have our input level set up, now we're gonna add ourselves a, a recording track here, a track to record our voice on. The way to do that is just hit this little plus button here, add track. Okay, we're gonna call the track a name. I'll put my microphone down here for a second. We're gonna call this vocal test, okay? One, we're gonna have one track we're gonna add. It's gonna be a mono. And you see our input down here, it's set to vocals. Why? Because that's the input that we created on our 24C. Remember that? We're gonna click OK. Now we're gonna see a new track here in Studio One, our vocal test track. Now the way we record our voice is very simple. We're gonna arm it to record, automatically gonna turn on the little monitor button. And if you're listening on a pair of headphones as you talk into the microphone, you will hear it through your headphones, okay? Now we're gonna hit record down here in our transport and we're gonna record a little test. Okay, we are testing the PreSonus Studio 24C audio interface. This is how you record in Studio One your first track. Really simple, really easy. The number one thing you wanna make sure you're doing is that you're not clipping and that you set your input gain properly like we did a few seconds ago. So at its loudest peak, we don't come anywhere near clipping. Then we hit stop and there it is. If you were to bring back and hit play, you are now going to hear the track that you recorded. So that is how you set up your 24C with Studio One, how you get it configured and how you record your first track. All the links for Universal Control and for PreSonus will be in the description box below. If you wanna learn more about recording in PreSonus Studio One, I have a full training course that covers not only audio interfaces, but the whole recording process, drums, bass, guitar, vocals, the whole thing. It's called Recording and Studio One Made Easy. It's for version six but version six will work for version seven, it'll work for version five or version four. Studio One is set up exactly the same way, all the way back from version three through version seven. The way you set up and record it in a very basic way is exactly the same. If you wanna check out that training course, click the link in the description box below. And thank you for sticking around till the end of the video. I'm gonna give you that course for a 25% discount. If you use the coupon code YouTube25, it'll take 25% off that Studio One recording course, as well as any other course on my website. So make sure you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for joining here at Home Recording Made Easy and homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And until the next video where we talk more about some Studio One stuff and pre-sona stuff, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Thank you so much for watching me, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video.